Hey guys, this is Vyom Joshi with Superior North. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking about a preferred security that I like and have been adding to my portfolio. The security is issued by Brookfield Property Partners LP. The ticker symbol of this preferred security is BPYPM. The characteristics of this new LP preferred units are such that it is fully and unconditionally guaranteed by Brookfield Property Partners, and it ranks senior to every class or series of limited partner interest or other securities. These preferred units are also on parity with every class or series of the new LP Class A units. However, these units are junior to every class or series of limited partner interest or equity securities established after the original date of the new LP preferred units. And lastly, these preferred units will remain junior to all new LPs existing and future senior or subordinate indebtedness. In other words, in the case of liquidation, the bondholders would have first claim over the company's assets before the preferred shareholders. Next, it's important to note that Brookfield Property Partners will not be permitted to make any distributions to the limited partner units unless all accrued distributions have been paid in respect to the preferred units. Now, you may ask who owns these limited partner units? It is Brookfield Asset Management. On July 26, 2021, Brookfield Asset Management acquired all the LP units. Now, let's look at the guarantees associated with the new LP preferred units. The payment obligations of the new LP to the holders of the new LP preferred units, including accrued and unpaid distributions, are fully and unconditionally guaranteed by the partnership, the operating partners, and several holding entities. Now, even though the distributions of these preferred units are guaranteed, the company does claim that while the payments of such distributions have been guaranteed by Brookfield Property Partners, such guarantee is only triggered when such distributions are declared by the general partner of new LP or upon the redemption, retraction, or liquidation, dissolution, or winding up of new LP. Now, this is an interesting situation because Brookfield Asset Management is the general partner and it also owns all the limited partner units. Now, in order for Brookfield Asset Management to receive any money from the subsidiary, it has to make sure that it declares the dividends to its preferred shareholders because they have the first claims over any distributions. So if the company, Brookfield Asset Management, the general partner, ever needs to receive any money, it first has to make sure that the preferred shareholders are getting their money before they'll ever receive money from its subsidiary. Now let's focus on where these preferred shares are currently trading at and the margin of safety associated with investing in it. The preferred shares are currently trading at about $16.03 per share. The par value for these preferred shares is $25. So we can see that the company's preferred shares are currently trading about 35% below the par value. At the current price of about $16.03 per share, the dividend yield amounts to about 9.75%. Additionally, these preferred shares are cumulative. So when the company declares any dividends, it has to not only pay dividends in that quarter, but also any unpaid dividends of the past. The new limited partner preferred is part of the $3.1 billion capital structure. The total equity amounts to about $45 billion, and the equity of limited partners is about $8.8 .8 billion. We know that the limited partner preferred securities have a seniority over the distributions to the limited partner interest. So even if you were to assume that all the preferred securities were at parity, the company still has a lot of equity on its balance sheet to pay for any liquidations associated with its preferred securities. Now, when it comes to risks, the company points out that as the interest rates rise, it makes the company's borrowing more expensive. So the company's interest payments are going to be larger, making it harder for the company to report profit at the very end because at the end of the day it's out of the profits that the dividends are paid out from so as the interest rates rise it's going to be more difficult for the company to make any payments in the future however given the nature of these preferred securities the dividends are cumulative so even if the company does not declare any dividends now and it declares its dividends five years in the future all those dividends are going to be added up and when the dividends do get paid out it's going to be a lump sum Additionally, the parent, Brookfield Asset Management, does not get paid out until the preferred shareholders get paid out. So it is in the best interest for the general partner, that is Brookfield Asset Management, to pay distributions to its preferred shareholders so that Brookfield Asset Management can receive money from its subsidiary, which is Brookfield Property Partners LP. Hey guys, that is all I had for you this week. Hopefully you found this video on Brookfield Property Partners LP preferred shares interesting. If you like this content, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on which stock I should review next, please leave in the comment section below. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you.